All right, so today I'm going to walk you guys all through something. Um, today we're going to do, we're going to look into how to make a scenery object for X-Plane. Um, I've seen a lot of other videos that don't really get straight to the point um, and have various parts to their, they make it like an entire series basically. And that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is make this very simple for everyone. Um, not having to keep looking over like 25 minute videos and trying to figure it out. So, um, in Blender, uh, there's we got a we got a process here that I I made a list of things to do. Um, in Blender, first you want to model your your object. So, I'm just gonna model this little cube here. That's gonna be the first thing to do. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make a cube. You could just use the default cube whatever bring it up to where it should relatively be I'm just gonna make these all three meters by three meters bring it back up close to the uh, ground level there apply the scale that's pretty much it um, you could add some depth and like other little things to this cube if you wanted to or like mess up the mesh a little bit uh, kinda like this and then you could even do some stuff like that if you wanted um, and just kinda like bend things in um, I don't know why this isn't working maybe it should be sphere yeah there we go so yeah like you can just kinda mess with it a little bit if you feel like it um, basically just get the model all intact first and then you should be on your way to texturing so yeah we could we could just go with something like that whatever smooth it um, then we're gonna go ahead and unwrap it cube has a very basic uh, projection already so we could just use what we have here one face would look it's already got the cube unwrapped for us because it's so simple. So yeah, that's we're just gonna go with this unwrap. Obviously, if you're making like a building or something, you're gonna have a more complex unwrap. Uh, but we're just gonna go with this. Um, so yeah, export your unwrap, um, which is under UV, export, and then we're gonna go to. I'll just save it to my desktop. Cool. We're just gonna call this. I guess we could have just left it at cube. Now over here, the size of your object has to be a power of two. Um, so basically what we're gonna do, you can either set it at 1024, 2048, or in this case, I'm gonna do a 4096 texture. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go with 2048. Just because this is a small object, it's not one to be looked at very much. Um, so yeah, we're just going to export it as cube.png, export, and then we'll hop over to our um, texturing software, which uh, I'll bring up here in just a second. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, bring our UV unwrap into Photoshop. You could do this in multiple different programs like Substance Painter, um, but uh, just for the sake of this video to keep it short and quick and for the sake of the cube being very simple I'm just gonna use Photoshop um, so what we're gonna do obviously you texture let's make a white background so I can see better um, yeah so the cube we're gonna grab some red um, and then you can also go back into into blender uh, if you want to and just kind of find where things are uh, by marking them off so that looks like the top right which is actually here so we're just gonna draw a simple cube like shape in there grab our red Yep, that looks good. Duplicate it. Move it. Uh, it could be a little bigger, actually. 
bigger that way. Perfect. Okay, then that's gonna connect up here and down there as well. So what we can do is grab, or we could just draw a new one, kind of like so. Just texture it, doesn't have to look great. Okay, and then this one. I mean, obviously you're gonna want it to look good, but uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna keep it as simple as I can and as quick as I can. Um, cool, so that's, we've got this whole side done, I believe. Then we're gonna go on the other side. Um, and then actually speaking about that, we're gonna wanna bring this bottom one is in as well. So if I just do that, it should work. And same thing over there, diagonal from this one. Cool. So we've got those squares done now. Then we got a couple more to do. Um, so yeah, where are we? So we've done this. Then we have that. So then over here, we're gonna wanna connect. You know what? I'll just leave it at that for now. This, the sake of the video is just to get it textured, and then and then we'll just see like what happens from there. So we'll hit save now. Save that to your desktop or wherever you feel is best. I'm gonna call this cube uh, video png. Perfect. Okay, and then now what we're gonna do is export it in Blender and um, set it up in World Editor. So in Blender now, got that all done. Make sure you have the X-Plane to Blender plugin installed. Check plugin development experimental. Make sure that you have your collection with your cube in it. Check the collection off, give it a name. We're gonna call it video. The type is a scenery object, and um, our texture is called video.png. Um, if you wanted to, you could also generate a normal map in uh, Blender with the, hold on now, we got to join all of those together, get rid of the unwrap layer, uh, and then filter 3D, you could generate a normal map should give you something looking like that. You can export that too. I'm gonna call it video underscore NML. Cool, back into Blender, into the shading tab. Click on the cube, get a new material for it. Then we're gonna drag video in, put that to the base color. You can see the, sh the general shape of the cube is kind of there. Our video underscore our normal map there. We're going to go shift A and add a vector normal map. Color to color, normal to normal. Now you can see it's got some depth in there and some shine. Perfect. Back into our export tab now on the right. We're gonna go video underscore nml dot png. Oops, sorry, that's in the night tab. We're gonna go to normal specular. Perfect. That's all you really need to do. Hit apply the material, and we're gonna hit export. Oh, it's gonna want me to save the file though, however. Well, my best way of doing that 
is going to be to the desktop. I'll just say untitled.blend. And we're going to go ahead and click uh, export. So that just exported to the desktop there. Um, now, next thing we're going to want to do is set it up in the world editor. Um, so that should be simple to do. I'm going to go ahead and just take that uh, exported object we just had and I'm going to bring it into my custom scenery folder. So we're going to go to Kingston, which is just the airport I'm kind of messing around with right now. Objects. Make sure you have an objects folder in, your, in the scenery you're working on. Drag and drop that object over, so there it is there, along with the two um, textures. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open that object with Notepad. Ensure that we don't have anything before this uh, video.png in the textures section, as well as the video underscore normal. Any texture you have in this in this uh, file here, in this text file, you don't want to have anything before the name of the text file. So that's good. Hit save. And um, yeah, so then you're just going to want to launch World Editor, which I will do now. World Editor. Perfect. Load up your scenery. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes here. Uh, in local and objects, you're going to find your object with your texture. And then you can categorize it if you want to. I'm going to put it in objects. And I'll stick it in the general area of where it actually is. So somewhere down here. I'll stick it right there. So you can see our object is there now and if you want you can grab these and just rotate it. Um, and sometimes it gets a little misplaced in World Editor like you have to drag them around. Uh, go ahead and hit save and export scenery pack and you should have it in uh, X-Plane. Okay so in X-Plane now we're gonna go over to where we placed our object and you can see it right there sitting nice exactly where we placed it the texture is on it uh, and applied and you can see we have some PBR as well as I change the time of day so yeah that's how you uh, make a scenery object for X-Plane um, you can see I got a couple more over here. I did this one as well, this hanger, which could use some more depth to it. Uh, the sign here, Kingston sign. All using the same methods. Um, this building as well. Little plane. Signs there. Yeah, so that's, that's how it's done. Um, Hopefully I didn't go too fast, and uh, hopefully everything works out for you. Um, I tried to keep it as, as short as I could, so um, yeah. See ya.